All right, both of these machines are essentially the same, the 2900 and the 2910. We have to replace, we remove these two sprockets in order to get at the belt itself. There's these tiny little washers or retainers that go on here, and they're cellophane, and so they're really tough to get. So I use an, an X-Acto blade to remove these from the sprockets very carefully holding them and removing them. That gets us access to the belt itself. And now it's just a matter of picking a replacement belt that fits. And we get these off of eBay. It's, you get a big bag of them for five bucks or something. Just wheel this into place. It looks like it's working halfway decent. And then it's just a matter of uh, replacing those sprockets and putting them on is a little bit easier than getting them off um, but that's what we're doing here and then it's just a matter of re reassembly now this is the 2910 model and on this one um, you can't put the face on without putting the tray through the hole in the front and sliding it in. So that's what I'm trying to noodle through here. I had done the 2900 previously, and it was actually a little bit more straightforward than the 2910. So just pull that off, slip the tray through into the slot, push it all the way in, and then you can remount the face on here. And then it's a matter of Screwing everything back in place. Test it out. Opens up and closes. And that's about it. Job done.